What's going on guys? Colton here with Twig and Timber Outdoors and Lucky Tackle Box. And in this week's episode, we're going to take a look at how to effectively tightline or Euro style nymph small streams for trout. So tightline nymphing is one of the most efficient applications when you're looking for catching multiple fish. And it's so effective that the largest world stages as far as the worlds and, and championship series uh, actually utilize the majority of the anglers at least, this technique. And it's really fairly simple. What we're going to do is we're going to tie uh, in small stream applications our tippet right to our fly line. No need for an indicator most times because, well, I can see everything that's going on. So what we're going to do is a straight line of tippet from our fly line to our flies and essentially we're going to flip it up into the water column. We lead our flies uh, with a slight slack in our line until we see either the line straighten up and we set our hook or we see something funky like the tippet or the line might sway in an awkward way or we notice it goes backwards or does something out of the ordinary in its drift. Now the key here is we're going to tick bottom because in small streams we're looking for fish that seek refuge in lower parts of our pools. And by finding hatches or by incorporating flies that, well, are typical to that stream, we're effectively fishing the water column with multiple flies because of how shallow the depth of the water is. So again, we're gonna flip our line up. We're gonna lead it slightly, it might be six to eight inches with some little bit of bow in our line. And we're waiting for that line to tighten up or get taut and we're gonna set our hook. And that might've been a fish. But what we're going to do is, I like to fish longer rods. Uh, typically in small streams like this, a nine or 10 foot rod might be the most effective. Um, but if you have an eight foot rod or an eight foot six rod, uh, then by all means you can fish that. It just matters that you are staying vigilant and leading the fly uh, with enough weight. Now, as far as the flies go, I like to fish as little weight as possible because you want a natural drift. The important thing here is that when we rig our system, our heaviest fly is our last fly in our system. Why? Because we want a tight line or the most consistent tight in the line from our fly line to our bottom fly. Hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, check out the other videos in the playlist, and until next time guys, catch you guys on the flip side, tight lines, and we're out.